So I've been doing this thing where every morning I'll wake up at 7 a.m. and I'll go to bed at 1 a.m. So in total, I'm getting like five to six hours, depending on if I actually go to bed at 1 a.m. But I always wake up at 7 a.m. and it's actually been changing my workflow like crazy. The catch is the only way I can actually stay up when I wake up at 7 a.m. is if I have like a cup of coffee or like something to eat. So this P Science Alpha Me has been like saving my days. The uh, Apple Teeny flavor, I had the Fruit Punch, I had the Raspberry. Honestly, I think the Fruit Punch is probably the best flavor, but this comes in a hard second. And then the Raspberry is kind of like a yeah. I actually got a crazy amount of P Science Prolific Alpha Me protein way more protein i think i have another one of these somewhere too although i have all that pe science stuff i have been trying out a different protein this stuff is like completely way the other stuff is actually a casein whey blend so that's going to be like way thicker than this 100 percent whey chocolate cheesecake from mutant and honestly some days when it's hard for me to get my protein in i will be taking that over the pe because like sometimes i don't want the thick protein shakes i just want to get my protein in and get it over with so if you guys have been following me on youtube who are following me on Instagram that you know the new kosher pill launch is now live and I just want to say I appreciate all my YouTube subscribers when I launched the site at like midnight the other day I noticed that like 30 minutes to like an hour later I had like so many orders come in that were using the YouTube fan discount code so it lets me know that I didn't put that code out there for no reason I just want to take time appreciate the YouTube subscribers for going out supporting that launch and if you haven't already ordered there is like a lot of stuff still left I think the only thing that's gone right now is probably mediums and double excels but everything else is still there depending on like analytics and demands i'll probably do a restock on some of the sizes that are gone already but if you haven't already and you want something i'll leave the link to the website and the code that you guys can use to get 20 percent off and you guys can go check that out as i was going through the analytics of kosher apparel seeing where all my supporters are coming from like youtube facebook instagram there's some people coming from tumblr it really made me realize how many of my supporters are actually females and then i had to stop and think is the website geared towards females and how it can be kind of confusing not knowing if some of the shirt sizes are unisex or not so for the next launch i'm actually going to redesign the website to have a women's tab and then a men's tab and i'm going to actually design a whole women's size chart so this is actually going to allow me to start designing clothes that are tailored for women and to kind of clear up if some of the sizes are unisex or worn for just men i'm personally really excited about this new change because i've been wanting to create women's clothes for a long time i know that sounds kind of weird but i am going to be getting input from like a lot of different fashion designers a lot of different female influencers and a lot of different fashionable people around me so that I can make the dopest women clothes also. But all in all, the collection three that's coming this fall will be the collection that starts to separate men's and women's apparel so that I can give you guys the best of both worlds. I'm actually about to head out and film for Patty Lips. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with him on YouTube. If you haven't, you should be. My boy is growing like crazy. We've been kind of like doing videos like once a week lately. So I'm about to go film another vlog for him. Go subscribe to him. I'll leave it in the description and you guys can keep up with the content that we've been creating. Obviously, I can't vlog myself and vlog him. So I kind of just catch up with you guys in the aftermath of us filming. So I don't think Patrick and I have hung out on a vlog, like hung out, hung out in a while. I know you guys have like seen him here and there, but Patrick got a new apartment. So I want to show you guys his new apartment. And I'm just, I'm just so proud of him, you know? I'm just, I'm just super so growing up too fast. He's just you know? growing up way too fast. You guys can't even realize how big this space right here is. Hey, do a cartwheel. Do a cartwheel into the space. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but this place is like huge with this nice island. His bedroom, I ain't gonna invade his privacy, but you know, one bedroom there. His little shoe, this is, wait a minute. His shoe closet is like the size of my office. So that's pretty sick. He's gonna turn this into a full office, kind of like a YouTube, like creative workspace. This has a walk-in closet and my main room doesn't even have a walk-in closet. <laughs> and then kind of like to end it all, if you can see behind me, I don't know if you can, but this is actually like a super crazy view. It's just so crazy to see how far both of us has come in our career because I remember like chilling with this guy making content. What were we doing? We were like chilling on either my couch or literally on Jeff's couch <laughs> and seeing his come up and seeing his growth and his own brand is just like so crazy to see him live in this crazy apartment. I knew it would happen. It's just, it's so dope, man. Honestly, so, this guy has helped me a lot. Like when I started making content um i got sponsored mm. through farmer freak with i think a lot of the content yo we shot made. yeah we shot farmer freak if you guys can go back maybe i'll link it in the description but we shot his first athlete video for farmer freak announcing that he was about to become an athlete for them damn i didn't even realize that we did that together but like that was around that time that's actually so crazy man we've like come up. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy like we've come up together 
it makes me cry. It makes me cry to see each other no in like LA and all these expos and stuff. It feels nice to be able to do what we love and do it together with all our friends and stuff. So it's my little, it's my little rant, you know, it's my little rant. 27 grams of protein? Yeah. That's pretty good. Does it taste like Smarties? It does. And look, Smart ice cream. And I Damn. put some uh, hazelnut spread in that. You're just going full in Smarty mode with this, eh? Oh. See that, bro? What? That's some. You moving up in life. <laughs> you moving up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna run you guys through the next bit of this program that I'm running. If you guys do not know, this is going to be an eight week physique program. And I think the last video I went over day five of the program, but today I'm gonna be running day one of the program. So I'll throw up on the screen here what exactly I'm gonna be doing on this day. And I'll kind of just run you guys through it and explain it a little more into detail. Okay, so the first exercise that we actually did was an incline barbell press. And actually on the first week of doing this program, I'll put up on the screen here how it kind of goes through week one to eight so the first week on this exercise we actually did an am rep for four to seven rep zone range that was pretty much to figure out where we're going to be with like figuring out percentages for the rest of the program so everything i'm doing now is kind of based on that first week as you guys saw we five, i actually have a d load three by five at 70 percent so i think i'll wait till after d load and then i'll try to bump the weight up on this exercise next exercise we move on to was a shoulder press and this actually can be done on the shoulder press machine or on the Smith machine obviously i I chose a shoulder press machine. I usually don't use the Smith machine at all, no shade to it. It's just like my personal preference, but this was a three by eight to 10. So I knocked this out and I'm actually moving up really fast on this. My workouts before this program were actually kind of like shoulder oriented. So I feel like my shoulder strength right now is a real strong point for me. So you can see in the clips, my weight is actually pretty high on this machine. I honestly, I say I got another couple months before I'm maxing out this machine for reps. So the next thing we went on to was a wide grip lat pull down. And with this one, it's kind of interesting interesting because it's actually supposed to be a slow eccentric and this is for three by eight to ten also so it's actually one of my favorite things i feel like doing a slow eccentric on a wide grip lat pull down actually just gets the lats like way more engaged or even doing like a slow decentric so you can kind of choose whichever one there you want to do a lot of people have been questioning this because i've been putting this on my instagram story whenever i do this exercise and they ask like why do i wear a belt and if it actually helps I do feel like a belt actually helps. When I'm doing this exercise, I tend to like curl my back a little bit when I get like super heavy in weight. So lately I've just been throwing on the belt. I mean, I bought the belt. I usually use it for squats or RDLs, but I have it anyway. So I just throw it on and I feel like I could pull more weight like safely on this exercise. Anything that's gonna help you lift more weight and give you more control over the exercise, I feel like it's a plus. So I don't know, some people question it, but if it's helping me, then I'm gonna keep doing it. So next exercise we moved on to was a dumbbell lateral raise. And this is actually supposed to be a pretty heavy exercise. So it's gonna be a three by 10 to 12. And on the final set of this, I'm supposed to drop the weight by 50% and do two reps to failure with a two second pause and a two second negative. I will say that last set that you do with this is actually gonna be killer. Trying to remember it, if I do remember when I'm doing a workout, is Patty actually told me to kind of like tilt my hands in so that I get my side dealt a little more engaged on my lateral raises so if you guys can remember that do it because sometimes i don't remember but when i do i do feel my side dose a little more engaged so that's a little tip for my boy patty lefts the next exercise we're going to move on to is a chest supported row here i'm going four by six to eight and i'm supposed to go pretty heavy here feeling a full stretch on the lats i actually got longer arms so most of the exercises that i do i'm kind of like tight in the machine but i still try my best here to get a full range of motion and try to get that full stretch on the lats the next exercise is actually an incline dumbbell flip fly this is actually not my favorite exercise i'm more of like a pec fly machine type of person but it's a part of the program and it's nice to be switching it up after i've been doing pack decks for so long last thing we did was a rope pullover for the lats and this was actually a three by 15 to 20. i must say this is probably one of my favorite lat exercises the cue for this says full stretch at the bottom lean forward then go upright as you squeeze lats at the top sometimes when i'm doing these exercises i don't remember the cue but i do remember trying to get that full stretch at the top and you get that full contraction at the bottom. So I think with the next workout I'm gonna do, I might try and do this while being in the gym. Maybe I'll get me and Patty to kind of go through one of the days with you guys. Maybe it'll be nice to just kind of like switch it up and do a workout with him too. And in the video right here, if you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.